If you have owned a mobile device in the past and looked for quality real games on the store that actually cost money and aren't just free to play garbage, uh, you may have come across Monuments Valley. It is a perspective based puzzle game. There's two in the series and they're games with a lot of integrity. I've haven't played either of them, but I've heard they're a great time and probably the pinnacle of mobile puzzle gaming. So without further ado, let's hop into it. Tap the path to move Ida. So sure, we move about, hold and rotate. You mean this? Right! This is no longer a wall, it's just big perspective changing. That's cool. I love this. So we have to make it to the eggs and keep navigating through these worlds. Let's go. Love this game. I'm excited. I've never played it. I've heard nothing but good things. Alright. So, we're just gonna have a lot of weird perspective stuff, some sort of MC Escher inspired environments. If you remember Manifold Garden when I played that, I imagine this should be in a similar vein. Okay, so yeah, we've completed one, that was the tutorial, let's go to two. I kinda thought everything was gonna be unveiled. Chapter two, the garden, in which Ida embarks on a quest for forgiveness. Alright, so all we can do right now is rotate. Let's maybe make our way over down to this button here. It seems like normal traversal so far. Yeah, with ladder climbing and all that. Interesting. Hold on, so then what I want to do is I want to make it back up here and then rotate it again so I can make it to this newly spawned area just over here. Seems pretty simple so far. I'm hoping there's more mind fuck perspective changing things. Oh, well this is just odd. This looks impossible to get to. Can I rotate the screen at all? Maybe see from a different angle? It is, unless if... Oh, never mind. <laughs> yep, we're gonna be going through that a lot today. <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna have to get used to that. That's funny. I like that a lot. We get a cube. All right, area complete. So we're on to section three, level three. Seems as just one area per level, but for now it could get bigger and bigger as it goes on. This already looks a lot bigger. Once again, this looks impossible. Unless if there's something I can interact with that I haven't considered yet. And then there's these circles that light up. Oh, these slide. That took me a little bit too long, not gonna lie. Slide these about. Can it slide with me on it? Yeah, it can. So the circles mean you can move it, is what I'm gathering. I can go really fast if I want. Oh, is it not just, is she not? Oh, she is gonna go in the door. I need to touch on the door. And then this also, this goes up and down. It's an elevator. All right, seems pretty simple right now. No brain melting stuff, you know, except for just the imagery and how it looks. Get in the door, get in. A secret area, kind of Fez vibes from this. And actually I feel like this is gonna have a lot of similarities to Fez in general. A level within the level. Big level. Let's uh, make our way up here, why don't we? Because it looks like this is movable. I see more of these circles that suggest there's like elevators or movable. Yeah. One goes up, one goes down, and then same with here. Oh, interesting. So I have to find the right height for that. But it already starts off at the correct height, so... Son of a bitch. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stand in here, I'm gonna move myself up, and then with perspective, make it up here. How did he do it? Only geniuses can solve this. Let's uh, walk onto here and then send ourselves up. Maybe have these be equal in height, and then send these all the way up and walk to the button, which unlocks a staircase. All right, time for more cubes and all that. Amazing. game is not for free, which means it's a good quality game. Good quality games are very rarely free. Oh my god, this trick. I don't even know if this has a name or anything, but it's super trippy. The two games together were like seven bucks. I just bought one and two. It's the funny triangle. The ha ha meme triangle. The triangle of- uh, Oh my god, we tilt him! 
All right, there goes our gravity. So I could, I could just walk like this. That, that means I could probably walk like this normally. Hold on, I could probably go to here and then probably to here. And, oh my god, I, I, I'm just thinking right now. This, this means I stop, right? I can't go any further from here? Oh wait, there's stuff I can move. I forgot I could do this. Right, 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 right. Already forgetting a mechanic. Now we're good now. Oh my god, I'm upside down. And I'm on this side. So we can rotate the whole thing to reveal more curved world back here. I think I can walk all the way to here. Yeah, the curves let you change gravity without actually impacting much. And then we can connect here, of course. And then we can walk on up, probably to the exit. I do like this quite a bit. Very simple, very soothing. It's cursed. It's cursed only in the best ways. What can all move here? Right, this thing. Can I stand on here, then rotate it? Yep, yep, I can. Changing my own gravity. She just don't give a fuck. The wall. She'd be walking on the walls, and it's just normal Tuesday to her. All right. Well, let's keep that up, I guess. Maybe to here, and then let's go this way. Walk in the door. Where does she? Where does she even go? To this area. Thieving princess, why have you returned? What did we steal? Cubes? They're mine, anyways. You don't deserve the cubes. You can't walk on walls like I can. Uh, we were here before. Um, let's just go across. Why don't we? Yeah, this is actually not even a game. It's just a documentary before Isaac Newton was born. The world was truly a different place. Ah, yes. The fifth side of the four-sided um, level selection thing. The spire! It's time to slay. Even got bird head dudes. I'm gonna avoid- Oh my god, those mouths. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid them. It's a, it's a stealth mission. Don't get too close, or they'll freaking bite your teeth head off. You just gotta stay behind. Don't look behind you, I'm gonna hide up here. And then we're gonna make it to this, whatever this does. It unlocks that. Oh, so it allows me to- yeah, 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 okay. Achieve different staircases. Behind you. Secret horror game. A little bit. They can walk up walls too! Oh, I didn't realize they'd be this powerful. They can't be stopped. Alright, let's rotate like this. And then make it up here. And then make it to this other button, just around him. The spire itself is a ladder. Time to climb it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I might have almost just lost my progress. All right, we've evaded the bird people. They haven't got us yet. What is this thing here? What is, oh, okay, that is a twisty thing. All right, I don't want to look at you anymore. That did reveal another dude, but uh, let's let's just go on by. And we get cogs up here. Nice tank controls. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna once again go past, and then I'm gonna flip this over so this bird goes bye bye. Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't know what happens when you encounter the crows, and I don't want to know. Let's um, we'll flip this again. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure. Oh, it's going up. We're, we're bringing it up. What are, we, what are we even achieving here? Maybe maybe if he walks like on it, I can send it out of my way. <laughs> he's stuck. Here's what I wanna do. Once he's going this way, bring it back down so he gets off of it. No, get off of it. Oh, it is, it is what you're supposed to do. Okay, it is just a little bit more finicky. Well, there we go. I don't want to look at you anymore. Get out of my sight. It's not too finicky, though. It's just the right amount of finick. Any more, I might lose my mind. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I don't even know where I'm trying to go, to be honest. Maybe to that door near the top? A little bit more stealth gameplay. Is he getting around that corner? Oh, crap! 
Ah! <laughs> Good afternoon to you too. Maybe they don't even eat you. Maybe they just yell at you aggressively. All right, so what do we got? We can send that around, get off my path. Thank you very much. And we exit up here, all right. That's the only thing that gets manipulated, but this, okay, manipulates gravity. Let's see if I can send this dude to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, that might work. No, I don't like that one. Let's do that one. Oh, wait, wait. Yes, 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 yes. Have fun. We got to keep the tension going. How long can we go avoiding these crows? Who knows what will happen? Right, this rotates. What the heck? Okay, so it becomes like stairs. I see. So you rotate and the levels of this change. So we can slowly make our way up that way. And keep going around this as it rotates. This also changes height. Allowing me to walk on here. And making my way up again. Avoiding the birds. No real problems so far. Oh, yeah, yeah. Without a doubt. Oh, okay, time for more gravity changing, I think. Nope, never mind, there's ladders. This feels so natural, even though none of this really should be making any sense. I I think I've just kind of accepted that perception is reality at this point. This is just a, a crow avoiding game now. It's fun and it's like low, um, low intensity. Low intensity fun. Perfect for a lazy afternoon. Chapter six, the labyrinth. In which Ida meets the totem of friend. Hell yeah, friendship. I love the noise that makes. Alright, let's talk to the totem dudes. Okay, let's stand on the totem dude. Oh my god, it just slides over. Alright, my button. Alright, so this is a totem sliding world. Okay, I can get used to that. Well, we slide for a while until we no longer need to slide, but sh soon we will need to slide again. Actually, right now we need to slide again. Honestly, this is just a good method of transportation. What happens when I stand on this again? Because I feel like I want to have the totem move up. There we go. Now, here's how it's going to go, right? Totems are going to be here so I can walk up onto them. And then our companion will lead them to the next or us to the next button. Perfect. So now the totem can move to here. Oh, all right. The have fun, buddy. And become part of the rotational thing. And this can go sideways. Very sick. This dude is awesome. Best friend material. Oh, there's still more we can do. We got to continue the story. Yeah, we're bridge building now. Y'all been asking for more Polybridge content. You know, a few less springs, but let's be real, the game's better that way. Alright, we can finally exit the door. Yeah, of course we're not leaving the totem behind. Friends always come along. Right, how do I get past the totem? Well, I could do this, and then just have them hide out down there, and then walk over here. And then I could get on top of the totem again, once we make it past the stairs. Like, we hit one of the lights, and now we can slide on you to the other button. What does this one do? Oh, jeez. Does this still work? It does, but not really how you'd want it to. So we have to light up both of these. So we have to get the totem to light up. So I want or to push the other button. So let's get you over there. Teamwork makes the dream work. Me and my best friend. Dude only has one eye. No other emotions. But yeah, I can tell. Oh, never mind. It's got a moving mouth. Figure out where I'm going to want to get anything. Oh, as soon as I walk on that, it can't rotate. It's like I could get Mr. Totem over here. But I got to get myself up there. So we have to use perspective tomfoolery to help us out a little, I think. Because, yeah, that totally means we can walk on there. Yep, yep, yep. I love it. Alright. 
Okay, we're gonna need Totem to lift us up twice, it seems. Can I walk on the Totem now? Yeah, I can. So we've only got part of the way still. We still have a long way to go, but that helps a little. That helps a lot, actually. Slide you over, get in. Incredible. We got a, a Caltrop. There better be some purpose for all these shapes. Did we abandon Totem Friend? We just left him in Valhalla. Hopefully. Hopefully there's justice for our Totem Boy. Oh, yeah! Totem Boy. Oh. He can swim! I swear, if they just killed him off after all that. Oh, wait. Oh, no. He can't swim. Oh my god. I have one friend! These people are cruel. We didn't see him die, therefore he's not dead. Maybe he's just going for a swim? Doing laps? Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. All right, Totem is okay and alive. We will definitely see him again. Where are we? Oh, is this a bird level? I, th I think this isn't meant to be a bird level. What the? All right, let's press the button, I guess. Nice. Oh, there we are. All right. Uh, thank you for your sacrifice, Mr. Bird. All right, so we just gotta walk by all of them. Act natural. Act like you belong. Hey, what's up? It's me, Birdman. Just doing Birdman things. Didn't replace the other guy. Nope. Right. Oh, let's press some more buttons. Rotate that. That just keeps rotating, right? I think I want it there. I don't know for sure, but I probably do. Oh, I do have my own person here. Oh, I see, I see. I should have been on that. Let's get in position. And then it'll rotate it about. So an automatic button presser. I right, get you back on here, and then rotate you around a bunch. And by a bunch, I mean twice. Alright, what's this button do? Ooh! <laughs> Alright. Love it. Rotates the whole thing. Well, we see our exit. Shouldn't be too much longer from now. I do like the ch constant change in scenery. This game would definitely be a little dull without it. What on earth? Wait a second. This door opened. Oh, so I had to move this up. Or down. I had to move it down to block him from getting there. No. No, I don't think so. No. Not at all. Let's just leave that there just in case. Keep you from the button. Just constantly tormented. Oh my god, birds on the triangle thing. Foolish princess, have you forgotten too? Forgotten what? There's nothing to forget. So this can... We can just rotate this whole thing, I see. And then from a certain angle, this looks like we can keep walking. And then make it up here. Waltz and by bird dudes. Probably gotta press these buttons though. I haven't done that yet. I think I can just walk straight to here actually. I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah. And now we line it up. What is this staircase? Oh, uh, maybe we have to go all the way back down. Well, let's see. Let's see if it lines up from up here. Maybe? It does. That was a sweet staircase unrolling. Slinky vibes, that's for sure. Chapter 8. There lie strange delights. Oh, hey, it's the room. It's a puzzle box. Another one of these dudes in a level? What? You don't continue walking? Oh, you do. The bird level. I did something. We only, it looks like we hit one of four goals. That's what I'm feeling right now. Oh, yeah, there we go. I was like, I would like to do something. Actual the room vibes. Because uh, to be honest, I have, to, I have to find what to interact with. All right, I'm through the door. Can I close this now? Okay, what about this? <laughs> There's different edges. 
Where did I go? I thought I walked through the door. Oh, I'm down here now. What does the bird button do? It rotates that. Let's get to the real button. Three of four. So I probably have to make it back in the door. Just the feeling. And then it'll take me to Orange Land. Where are you? That's not it. No, I'm here again. Because there's another door over here? Yeah, that'll lead to it for sure. Right? Yeah, what the... That's not the door I was expecting. I didn't even see more than one door. What a satisfying little puzzle. I wish I could own this. And like just store it in my living room. Instead all half are like... You know, Rubik's Cubes. You actually want to see something funny? Look at this Rubik's Cube, right? <laughs> Just the normal Rubik's Cube. Nothing suspicious at all. Completely normal, non-changing, extremely solvable Rubik's Cube. Alright, uh, what do we have going on? This lights up. Oh, we, we can drag it. Open up the box. See what's inside. Alright. Here we are. We have to make it up there somehow. Let's see what these buttons do. Whole ass aquarium too. Can I solve it? No, not currently. I'm maybe one day I'll just put a lot of effort towards figuring out which color is truly which. But that's going to be a huge expedition. You know, hypothesize all possible combinations of colors, and then only then maybe I'll stand a chance at solving it. I actually have another uh, mind fucky Rubik's cube too. Hold on, it's a Sudoku Rubik's cube. There's no colors, but there's one through nine. So on every side, you have to have one through nine. This one's easier to chart at least, because it's not like optical illusions, but this one would take a lot more effort. The fun part would be figuring out exactly which numbers are a correlate to which colors. Oh, there are not many solutions. There is only one solution. There's a lot of ways you can just soft lock yourself out of the cube. Dude, I love the visuals in this area. Absolutely gorgeous. This is all still the box, isn't it? All right. It'll, uh, it, it packages itself real nicely, too. I always love a clean wrapping. How satisfying is that? What lies at the podium of the cube? Is it a cube? No, it's a... Is that a dodecahedron? Does that have more sides? Either way, we're putting stuff back, so I guess we're kind of the good guys. The room got inspired from that level. It's possible, but wasn't the original room game pretty old? They are probably in development at a similar time. Probably both inspired by real-life puzzle boxes. Maybe one day I gotta get me one of those. There is nobody left to forgive us. We're alone. No totem buddy. No box. Just a flower. No one will miss that. Like, who, who's who's around? Okay, let's, um... You know what? What if we just part the sea? We do part the sea. And by part the sea, I mean make the land raise. Where are we... Where are we even going with all this? Finally have one of these, at least. All right. Yeah, or am I making the water lower? What's really going on here? <gasps> We're making the water lower! It's our totem! He was swimming all along, and he's doing good. I, I gotta go say hi. Yeah, I knew you were gone. Oh, it just even stopped storming. I'm trying to figure out what my goal is. I gotta get to him. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, we can totally bring him out of the water now. We've gone that far. What's up, totem friend? Welcome back. Oh, the innards of whatever this is. All right. A lot of combinations. What does this do? Am I supposed to just push myself and fall? Do I take fall damage? Let's find out. Oh, I see. I see. I see. <laughs> that does not push me at all. Oh, wait. There's other stuff that moves. I, I keep forgetting. Look for circles. 
Now it's time to do some rotational stuff. So actually, I guess I need to get over to this side here, and then I can only make it up. There we go. I missed it. <laughs> um, or, we'll just pretend I know what was what happened there. You can just kind of come back over here and then make it the way down. I need to get onto these things. That's what I need to do. So let me just walk over here. And then, there we go. Perfect. Down we go. And then, oh, this does rotate. Cool. Oh, uh, we're going further down to the freaking core or something. The tunnels. It's all right, chat. You have each other. There's no reason to be scared. That's a staircase. Yeah, all right. Extremely hidden staircase. All right, on we go. Oh, hold on. I got to stand on here for us to rotate. And we just got to have it line up. Just keep looking. And you shall find what you're looking for. Definitely fe uh, feel like I've solved that puzzle in the room before. I think it was the room old sins. You know, maybe if I if it takes forever for an update to come out. Oh my god. I get the room VR. There's an angel bird with a crown. It's like a ghost bird. It's our mirror. Oh, it's an actual mirror. Oh, so we can see what's on the other side. All right, what's up, bird dude? All right, well, down we go. It's me. I'm a crow. <laughs> I swear if that's actually the twist, that would be something. Sacred geometry was our pride, our downfall. Eh, for me, it was more calc. For, but forever will our monument stand in this valley. I'm, I'm gonna keep going down even though it looks like it leads to nothing. Maybe something will appear. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, I see. It's multiple elevators. Very funny. Can you imagine Calculus Valley? Find the area under this curve. Otherwise, you can't continue through the uh, your progression. Hmm. Oh, we've made it to the tombs. This tomb looks like our shape. Actually, I don't know why. They all look the same. But it kind of does look like our shape. Oh, the flower! Morning. Complete. Chapter end on that note. Visiting the grave of who knows. Chapter 10. I'm told this is the last chapter. At journey's end, what was not meant for us is all returned. All right, maybe we gotta make it to the crow dude for once. How do we get to him? Oh, I see. We gotta walk up here and then rotate. Let's talk to the crow, he looks friendly this time. No, you're just a roadblock. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how to make it back up. Never mind, that helps, this helps. How does, well, I, I guess we can keep walking, huh? We can walk at least over here. And then let me just rotate this so we can see. We can go in a door here. All right, that's one way out. Yeah, it's true, at least they're not screaming at us. It's nice they've, uh, we've accepted our differences. This whole thing rotates. Oh, this is cool. It's an amusement park ride. Alright, we can definitely walk down here and then walk across this thing. <laughs> What's up, bird? How's it hanging? Just keep moving, I guess. Where am I even trying to go? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I gotta find a- I gotta get to the button! I see, so we gotta stand on that. Button on the inside. It's extremely dank. Oh, wait, there's multiple things that spin around. Maybe just this is not the one. How about this one? Yeah, now we can make it through. Okay. I can walk across this way, of course. 
Ooh, boy. <laughs> Good thing this is not first person. That would be beyond trippy. We lit up the light. Oh, and we can exit now. Oh, so we're back to the previous level. So we gotta find the other door as well. We found one of three. I gotta walk on here, I gotta make it to this blue thing. Then I gotta go on the other side of the blue thing. 180, flip it around, and then we can walk around, I think all the way to over here. Yeah, we can, and then I can get in the door. All right. Well, I'm glad this world is twisting up the difficulty. They're giving some actual challenges in here. I'm having to work backwards, do multiple step processes. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's walk on here, rotate a bit. Do these do the same thing? They do do the same thing. Is there even a perspective? No, I don't need to go up a level. I just need to walk through the door. Or I don't need to do, like, perspective shifts. You know what I mean. There's an actual door. Okay. We chillin'. Have I considered revisiting all the Flash puzzle games in the series? I haven't heard of either of those games, but I did Block Souls a while back. That could be fun, though. I actually might do that. We've reached the button. Nice. All right. Two out of three to the final door. So to get on the door, we just have to get on this thing over here. Getting on that thing isn't too bad, because what I can do is get on here, rotate this, walk around to here, and then make it. You just love to see it. Let me make sure I don't mess this up. So I rotate this around to here and walk on over to here. Because it's just two left turns. Okay. And we've made it to the door, I think. <laughs> oh god. Uh, how does this thing work? So many moving parts, jeez. Alright, well I can walk on this surface. Oh, well what I could do- Oh, I can create the weird fucky thing. Which edge do I want to walk on? I, I, I'm just not sure where I want to go. I'm just spin around right now, see if there's anything I can link up to. I guess I could walk down this thing now? Does that even help me? Oh, you know what? There's a door down here. That's something I can do. <laughs> Alright. So what am I trying to do now? I guess I could make it to this door. And now I'm... F hey, 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 hey. Now we're inside it. Oh, well now we can make it to the button pretty easily. Let me move a little further though. There we go, that will do. Oh, that's it? That's the third one. Everyone's eyes die during that level. It's a hidden door! It's a shock to see. But, um, we've achieved all of the lights. Is that, uh, are we chilling? Well, we gotta actually make it up there still. It's not over yet. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk on here. Rotate this about. Walk on here, I guess. Oh, and then here's how it's gonna go, right? We'll put you here, and that should- we should be able to walk to there now. I don't think I could have always made this path. <laughs> but... If I could, that's pretty sweet. Complete. Alright, well. What gives? What lies at the end of the puzzle box? It's Ida. And the birds! That we're friends with now, right? I think they like me more. I'm probably a savior of the land. I also noticed my head is very bird-like. Oh! Oh! Because it's not a hat, that's actually a beak! We actually are a bird, it's just a perspective thing! Right? How did I just realize this now? Yeah, we are definitely a bird. Come on, you can do it. You know you can fly. I 
I'm pretty sure from a certain perspective we look like a bird. Maybe that's not the intent. Yep. Yeah, there it is. It's a happy ending. All we need is the totem. I bet it was obvious the whole time, too. I mean, you know, for those who knew it. Just hiding in plain sight. Maybe the totem was also a bird. What a lovely game. People say- Oh, DLC in the first game is about totem? Well, okay. In that case, 